All right, Jelton Almeida versus Anton Turkali. This is a short notice fight, very short notice fight, also a catchweight fight at 2 fucking 20, I think. And uh, I don't know. You know, Jelton Almeida, I didn't even look at the odds. There's Chamayev odds. He's a significant favorite to win this fight. And in one, in like a weird way, I feel like this could be a more dangerous fight than Shamil Abdurakhimov. That's just because I felt like Shamil was clearly on his way out as a fighter. Whereas Anton is clearly on his way up. But, you know, as commodities and whatever, just Chelton Almeida is the much better, bigger commodity. He's worth a lot more. You know, I have a lot more faith in his ceiling than I do Anton Turkali. And Anton had that rough performance on Dana White's Contender Series. Fucking something, Dos uh, Acasio, fucking whoever the fuck, Dos Santos or whatever. And he, uh, you know, he didn't impress, didn't get the contract. This is a short notice fight. He didn't get the contract. And um, weirdly, he thought the fight was five rounds. That's what he told uh, whoever. He thought the fight was five rounds. And it was like this awkward moment, like, no, the fight was three rounds. And you had, like, three months to know that, or whatever, I don't know. It was a fucking bizarre moment, but anyway, he didn't know that, and that just, I don't know what that speaks to, if that's something that would even show up in the cage, but hopefully not. It's utter fucking stupidity. But, uh, regardless, I think Jelton Almeida hasn't given me a reason to, to doubt him. I kind of have it in my head that he has that he might be proven to have bad cardio, but even I know that's because of Hanan Ferreira in the PFL for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking there. But um, and don't ask me to explain that. But whatever. Jelton Almeida is shown to be a problem, big problem, big time uh, grappling threat to anybody he's fought and probably anybody in any division he's fought in. This, again, it's halfway, but it's a light heavyweight. This is a light heavyweight bout being held at catch weight. And uh, I expect him to be dominant in this one, you know. I've looked for a way to pick on Anton Turkali, and I have bet on him because, you know, he's beaten some really good fighters outside the UFC. Really good fighters, and they've beaten great fighters. His record is great as it stands now. But so is Jelton Almeida's, and Jelton Almeida... Even though he was submitted in grappling uh, by whoever, uh, uh, whatever, relatively recently, he's shown to be such a good grappler. He's shown to be such a good grappler and, uh, you know, has, I can't say he's shown heart or whatever, but he's been, you know, on the Contender Series fight, uh, Nasruddin Nasruddinov, whatever the fuck, Nasruddinov, uh, not that he was put in bad positions, but uh, he's, he's not somebody who just needs to be the hammer, I think. I think he could handle a close fight. And Turkali, you know, on the Contender Series, you know, I, I don't know if you call it dominance or whatever, but, uh, you know, being a wet blanket is awesome when need be. And maybe he needs to do that against Jelton Almeida if he's able to. I just don't see him being able to. I see Jelton being too strong physically, and he's going to put the fight where he wants to. That's why my only bet for this fight is uh, the under. The under one one and a half rounds, which I'm not crazy about typically, but uh, minus 155, and I've paired that up in a bunch of different parlays. I couldn't tell you if how I predict Jelton to get the finish. I said this against Parker Porter too. Could be a TKO, could be a submission, but I expect it to be on the ground, and I expect it to be when he passes his opponent's hips. So that's my prediction. Turkali might surprise me. He's plus 600. I've thrown that in a few parlays, but. Uh, It'd be going against my prediction, which is he gets taken out early. So, uh, not bad, you know, whatever. A nice fight in the middle of the prelims uh, on short notice. Can't ask for more, you know, especially on very short notice. But it would have been cool in one way or another to see him fight Shamil Abdurahimov. Because I think, uh, you know, even though Shamil was on his way out, he was tried and tested and... He was, uh, you know, when he's not getting finished, he's good uh, in deep in deep waters in a competitive fight. And that's all I really want to see from these young prospects. And maybe we'll get to see that here, like we did with Chemaev and Burns and whatever. Maybe uh, this will be Jelton Almeida's, uh, you know, tough fight. But uh, I'm going with Jelton Almeida, and I'm betting on the under. And Anton, because I'm a degenerate. Thanks for tuning in.